Not to like come onto your show and like just like start like making requests. We are now. If you had three seconds to name a child that you just found out you had, what would you name it? Uh, Bill. Okay. We got three sauces from Double Take today, and a very nice gentleman named Tony sent these to me. I found Tony's note. I've been sitting on these sauces for quite a while, and I don't know why, because one of them, I am extremely excited and very, very, very much into the, the flavor profile. I think, man, that is it. Ooh, I like the word mustard. I like the word scotch bonnet and mustard in the same label. Yeah. So these, uh, th that sauce was on Hot Ones uh, two seasons ago, I believe. How so, many seasons are they on? I don't know, dude, like 16 or something like that. Is it on like TV that? yet? No. Just oh. in the tubes. Well, they had a good. They had a, they had, old news. They had a, uh, they had a TV show, like Hot Ones TV show. I don't think it did very well. Yeah, because no one watches TV anymore. It's true. All right, so we got so from. But it could be on like Netflix. I would watch it there. I'd watch it on Netflix. Yeah. Double take. Double take. Double take salsa company. So from Minnesota, we got a Scotch bonnet mustard sauce, which is this is the one that I'm the most excited about. You should do that first, because we've made the mistake of like. Of something being gnarly and then it affecting the way the other ones taste, you know. Unless you th know that's going to be the hottest, I think it's going to be the mildest, honestly. Then we should start with it. And so, but look, look at this. This is their signature sauce, which would I would think would be the one that we would start with. Mm -hmm. But we'll get into it. But if you look at the ingredients in this; this might be the hottest one. Okay. And they, but they're, I'm super confused because their tagline is "flavor first, heat second. So generally saying that's like I, I, jam packed with. I mean, that's I a philosophy. That. I'm I'm very I'm always into that philosophy. Like yeah, I don't I, care. Pure fire is stupid. I feel like testosterone heavy dudes are like, well, no, I want the heat. But then it's like, no, like I, I don't like that. Like when it's something so hot, you can't taste it. Like that's dumb. It, it, it it's weird because you have to like, kind of like level up. Like yeah. once you're once you can handle more heat, then the flavors start coming out, and you start tasting the bit nuances and the sure, peppers. Yeah. Sometimes it's just too too hot, and all that's you can taste point. is the heat. Anyways, so maybe this is, this I was sauce. the wrong one the whole time. Every time I've ever had a sauce like that. It depends. It it everyone's different. It's yeah. super hard. And then we have one. We have a ghost pepper pineapple sauce. Which I know it's not your thing. I keep trying to. Do, no, I, it's fine. You're 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 growing on them. I think maybe. No, oh. like sweet sauces like that. Like the one that Ryden took home. Yeah, it's just like sweet. There's the extra backlight we ordered. <laughs> I know, right? Our monitor's <laughs> turned on. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Scotch bonnet mustard sauce and uh, Scotch I that. Scotch bonnets and ghost peppers. Are my two favorite peppers. So could we do their signature signature sauce last? Not to like come onto your show and like just like start like. Making requests. We are now. <laughs> but I'm just saying, because I don't care. Like, you said something about pineapple. Yeah, but the pineapple, it's a pineapple, uh, it's a ghost pepper pineapple All right, well, sauce. we can do it every order you want. I don't care. All right, so the ingredients, I don't know what like level they're at, but the ingredients in this are hotter than this, so we will do this one last. Okay. But we're going to do this one first. All right, so, with a healthy dose of heat from scotch bonnet peppers, which is kind of like habanero heat. Mm hmm Oh, uh, this become your new favorite hot mustard. Enjoy with grilled meats, jerk chicken is our favorite, pulled pork, kielbasa, another charcuterie, or add a touch to any sandwich. You put mustard on and savor he, the extra. He, he kick. listed like just the like the Avengers of things you should put mustard on. <laughs> That's a really good analogy. Like, like everything, I'm like, yes, I want mustard on that. <laughs> yes, and you're right again. I'm um, see. I'm interested to see how you're gonna feel about this sauce because it's not. It, it's not like the thick yellow mustards. You know, like this is a hey, thinner sauce. I'm actually. I'm see. I'm. I prefer the gnarlier peppers uh, in a sauce than the, the stabby peppers. And if you say this is like habaneros, that's a stabby. It's not as stabby as a habanero, though. Okay. But the heat is the same, like, Scoville units, but it's yeah. not stabby like a habanero. Because I think habanero is actually my least favorite pepper. I, I like habanero. I like the heat it brings, like, if you need to add something to it, but... Or to it to something. Ingredients are yellow yellow deli mustard, which is distilled vinegar, water, number one grade mustard seed, salt, turmeric, paprika, spi uh, spice, natural flavors, and garlic powders. And there's orange juice, lime juice, scotch bonnet, chili peppers, brown sugar, which is sugar, cane, molasses, and spices. That's in a lot of sauces. What? Brown sugar. Yeah, you gotta, add, you gotta have a little bit of sweet, sweet. Is Alex in your office right now? I think so. Oh, okay. Load up. Ooh, that's got a lot of flavor. What would you do if I just aroma. put it all out? It would be so annoying. And like I went like that to stop you and I just stared at you pouring it out. When are you going to do a video like that on your channel? I don't know, man. This is mild, right? So I can like, I can get a good... Yeah, it's, it's pretty mild. Um, Scotch bonnets have this like, it's weird to say this, they have like a creamy quality to them. Or they like, I don't know. They work well in like, salt, like olive oil sauce. Sauces have oils in them. Like coconut cream sauce, so anything this, that's got cream or something like emulsification in, it, yeah. wor it this works. This has a consistency that it would be a good salad dressing. That's what I'm saying, it's a thinner yeah. mustard sauce. All right, yeah. Hmm. 
Mm. It's like a sweet mustard. It's got some sweetness to it. <clears throat> oh, if that's the mildest though, these next ones are gonna be a thing. Dude, that it's got some it's got a I'm surprising like, amount of heat. I'm gonna like sneeze. That was delicious though. Oh man. That yeah. was so good. That was so good. What's the sweet in it? I didn't The molasses, man. Oh, I didn't hear The brown that. sugar. Sorry, the brown sugar. What I was doing instead of listening. Which well, there's orange doing. juice and lime juice, and then there's the brown sugar that's mm -hmm. in your sugar cane uh, molasses. That was super tasty. Super tasty. Good amount of heat. Like, yeah. It's not the habanero heat, though, it back is, of the throat. It, it is in the same realm as a habanero, though, you're right. Like, it's just not, like, as aggressive. Yeah, but, like, scoville was. Um, yeah, like, subtle sweetness, but not, like, an annoyingly, like, oversweet. Like, a perfect yeah. sweetness. Like, yes. I'm, pu I'm putting this on. This is, like, I mean, so like, any sort of sausage. Or, like, so and, freaking yeah, good. It almost, yeah. So There's, good. Yeah, I think the molasses kind of makes me, puts your brain in the, the sausage area. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Super good. Moving on. We're probably going a little bit sweeter now. So this is a ghost pepper pineapple sauce. Well, what would you rate that if you're into your Oh, heat we rating? gotta do a heat rating. Ready? I would say Ready? Yeah. Three, two, three. one, three. Yeah, three. It's a three. Uh at first I thought it was gonna be higher, but it's it's kind of like a like hits you and then just kinda immediately starts backing off and everything's okay. Back of my throat is still on fire. No, I'm done. So I would have said a four if that heat would have stayed and kept persistent. This water has been sitting on my desk for over 24 hours. That sucks. When I, that, 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 that. Have you ever, I mean, God forbid you do that with like orange juice or milk or whatever you're drinking. Not that I drink those things like ever. That sucks. But, Could have been worse. Yeah, water's the best case scenario. Could have been worse. A perfect balance of spicy and sweet. We, grill, we grilled ripe pineapples and combined them with ghost peppers to create a sweet yet savory sauce. Enjoy with chicken and pork, use as a dip for spring rolls or coconut shrimp, and if you're really feeling adventurous, try little or vanilla ice cream. No, really. This, you know what, can we start a sauce company where we like give suggestions on the back and then like the disclaimer, like FYI, one of these suggestions is incorrect. <laughs> and it's like, like a dip for spring rolls, like mix your spaghetti in with cereal or something, you know, like something like just off the wall. So then, be great. Yeah. Uh, roasted pineapple. I don't think I've ever seen a sauce with a roasted pineapple in it. Uh, yellow onions, white vinegar, roasted garlic, smoked salt, dried ghost chili peppers, cinnamon, ground coriander, turmeric, and ground allspice. This is going to be way more savory than you Yeah, have. that sounds delicious. Yeah, it sounds really good. Um, I don't think it's going to be super sweet, even though the, that pineapple is the number one ingredient. Yeah, it's gonna well, be the other, all the other stuff was like. Wait, I'm getting some pineapple too. This is going to be hearty. interesting. This is going to be a. It says on the, on the description too. Is like, going to ruin it? Like, it's going to be. Oh. It's, it's fruity and savory. Dude, why did I pour that like, much? It's a lot. Because ghost peppers, my uh, my worst heat experience had to do with a dehydrated ghost pepper. There's dehydrated ghost pepper in the sauce. Yeah, um, you were there, and I think you were involved with it all. And it was just. It was like something at, I shouldn't be talking about. At Braille. Yeah. It's like, it sucks that's documented. Oh, it was documented. It was fantastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, cheers. It's got like a, um, like a pineapple, apple, so not apple sauce, pineapple saucy. Yeah, it does. Situation. So M it's, more mild. This is more yeah, mild than the Yeah, sauce. which is nice. The consist I like the consistency. I feel like it's, and I don't know what you'd use this on. Yeah, maybe like a pork chop. Yeah, I think or, that's the that's the realm you're gonna go in. It's like the char or your spaghetti. The char takes away from that like super sticky sharp pineapple yeah. and gives it like that more like mellowed out pineapple flavor. Yeah, you know. With this one, and I, then and then there's more savory spices happening in it. I felt like they're on the line, and they they do well on capturing both of those realms. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they should have dedicated to one or the other. I I, I disagree with you on this one. Mm -hmm. Which is fair. Like, you can disagree sure, with me. Yeah. It's um, still a good sauce, but I just feel like it would have been... I would have cared more if it would have leaned a further direction. I, I understand that. Yeah. I understand that. Um, it definitely goes more to the savory side than it does to the sweet side. And I, I, I personally appreciate that because you can just get this, like, like just tinge of, of the sweetness. And then all mm. of a sudden it's like it becomes an all-savory kind of sauce. Like, again, I could put this on sausage. This is just like a back... Like, so far it's like backyard grill out. Yeah. Situation for both of these sauces. Like, I think this is gonna, it works great on any sort of like charred, grilled, mm -hmm. charcoal y yeah. situation. It's a very smooth sauce. Like, it was a very pleasurable experience. Like, if it, like okay, like vegetable kebabs. Like, yeah. I would love this with vegetable kebabs. Yeah, because there's a lot of vegetables on there that, like, you know what? I like vegetables, but let's face it, like, just broccoli alone. It's, my wife was telling me to eat carrots and broccoli yesterday. I'm like, I like carrots and broccoli, but I'm not snacking on carrots and broccoli. 
But if I had that sauce, I might give a crap about it. That'd be good, man. You know what I'm saying? This would be great at broccoli. Yeah. Get all up in that broccoli crown. Like Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. I love but Brussels by their sprouts. own. Like yeah. a raw Brussels sprout? Well, even cooked without anything. But just like a dash of salt, then I care. Yeah. You need something. Agreed. And that sauce can do that. Signature sauce, which is going to be his table sauce, and it sounds like it's going to be way hotter. It looks like it's going to be hot from here. We'll see. Yeah. It'd be hilarious if we just did it in reverse order. I know. I feel like that's normally how we accidentally do things. Probably. Add, okay, add it to anything to boost the flavor. Some of our favorites, uh, douse it on eggs or pizza. Add to ground turkey or beef before you make burger patties. Mix with non-fat Greek yogurt for a healthy yet flavorful sauce slash dip. And don't make a Bloody Mary without it. Just get creative. So he is saying this is Holy his cow. table soft, there, sauce. And the way he's talking about it is he, it's, he's saying it's going to be more mild. But if there was one out of these don't or don't belong, like, hey, put it in your yogurt. I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> he says add it to anything to boost the flavor. You, right. know? you know what I'm saying? So like, he's not claiming it's going to be super hot, but the ingredients are... All right, roasted real butt, red bell peppers, yellow onions, white vinegar, sugar, roasted and dried poblano peppers, still not hot yet, cooked cooked baby carrots. That's an interesting comment, an interesting one. Dude, I was like, we couldn't get the we couldn't get the big ones. We had we got little ones. Baby carrots. Uh, habanero chili peppers, garlic salt, Trinidad scorpion pepper powder, and Trinidad maruga scorpion pepper powder. Is the last two ingredients. That's, that's some. Dude, that is, scorpion peppers are hot. And they mean business. They mean serious business. I'm, I'm kind of bummed you don't have yogurt right now. I'm, I'm not a big yogurt fan. I hate yogurt. I know you're definitely not. But right now, I feel like we should be trying it with yogurt. So he, he's, got, he's got two different burns going on here. There's a habanero burn, which is the annoying tongue burn, mm -hmm. and then scorpion burns hit you in the back of the throat. So you're going to get I like an all-over-the-mouth style burn. Yeah. I literally touched my nose. Um, I don't know what I'm smelling. Oh, it's, it's the signature hot sauce? I understand that. Um... Thin, thinner sauce. Ooh, it's a vinegar-heavy sauce. Yeah, I think I, I think I got the vinegar. Let's see here. Okay, so yes, the vinegar and something else. What is that? I guess the bell peppers. I think it might be the bell peppers and onion I'm getting. Yeah, maybe. Interesting. Okay, let me see if I can oh, not no. spill this on the table. I think I can smell onion. Yeah, I can smell onion. Yeah, I didn't like the onion. Okay. We went in the completely wrong direction. Wow, that's tasty. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. That is a good savory. Like, like that is delicious. No. Wow. There's no tomato in here. I don't hardly believe. I know. Like, well, the, 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 okay, like the what sugar, gives it that? the sugar, and like the 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 red bell pepper combination has like a Maybe. tomato vibe going on. Yeah. Because tomatoes are sweet when you cook them down. You know. Yeah. Those are fantastic. Wow. Okay, we went in the complete opposite direction we should have on heat level. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a three, this is a two, this is a one. Oh, no. I think the last two were zeros. I, I, I'll, Actually, I, I think you're right. This yeah, is okay, I didn't, three, one, one. I didn't taste any. I couldn't, and maybe that was because the first one was so punchy, because I made the suggestion, so I screwed this whole video up. I apologize. But after that, I, it's like when, when you go down a notch, it's kind of hard to detect heat. But I still, there's heat on my tongue. So I'll say, I'll say there's ones, yeah. Yeah, one is just the flavor of heat. Like, it, like one is, to me, one is no heat. Just yeah. the flavor, like, of that oh. there is heat there. Okay. You know? Like a glass of water is a zero. Yes. Um, okay. Um, this is a utility sauce. You can use it on absolutely anything. D it's delicious. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can, like, replace, it's like... That's sounds weird. It sounds weird to call it like a ketchup replacement. A one replacement. A one replacement. Not even. Uh, yeah. Or like a, a hybrid of them. Anything. Put it on sandwiches, yeah. burgers, hot dog. Any, absolutely anything. Like literally anything. Yeah, it would be. You put it in anything to boost flavor. Like literally like table sauce. Put it on anything. Set okay. it next to your grill and just use it. Okay. Um, very very impressed by this hot sauce company. Um, fabulous sauces. Quality sauces. Very well Unique done. sauces. Um, didn't go like too far towards the sweet side, which I normally don't enjoy unless we're getting into the dessert realm, but that's kind of like a specialty thing. Um, just three very distinct style hot sauces that are super, super good. This is really good. Are you keeping this? No, you can have that. Good. Take it. Okay. Double take. Great stuff. Uh, in the description below is going to be a link to double take. And, uh, so these are sauces that interest you. You can pick them up and you should because they are delicious. Also, there's going to be a link to Taco Game Time, Andy and I's gaming yeah. channel. Does this go up this weekend? Nope. We have new videos that happen all the time. We hit 100,000 subscribers. We did. We hit 100,000 subscribers. And thank you to anybody who has checked it out. If you've not checked out Taco Game Time, please do. We have a lot of fun over there. Yeah. Um, okay. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there. And uh, you'll subscribe to my videos.
uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.